Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Let's go on the ground. This is for the collective. What's up? Okay, okay, okay. Balance spirituality and practicality. So I definitely feel like this is what somebody is doing. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Emotions are running high. Okay. And what is this that fell over here? Don't let your past hold you back and have faith in your dreams. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Let's use the past life oracle. Oh my goodness. This is what just trust and faith is in reverse. And love life is what fell. All right. Okay. So it's like somebody needs to have trust and faith in a situation. They don't have trust and faith in a situation. It has something to do with a counterpart, a love type situation. This person has something to tell you. They have a note. They have a letter. They have a message, whether it be a text, an email. Who the fuck emails? I don't know. Um, you know, like trying to get in contact with you. Maybe you're, con you're blocked, they're blocked in any other way. So they're going to try to email you in that form or, you know, try to contact you that way. I'm not sure, but it's like, um, they really have some, it was a very passionate connection and their emotions are running very high right now. Right. Their emotions are running very high. It's like, um, they have, there's some thorns on these roses though, right though. Right. So there's some thorn, thorns on these roses and it's definitely like a situation where you, where there was hurt, there was hurt. And you want balance. And this person, um, you don't trust. You don't, you're not like trusting of this person because they fucked up before. Okay? Leaving or travel. Okay. So this, it, it was like a situation where you had to separate yourself from this situation because it wasn't equal give or take. Or this person ghosted you, separated from you, take how it resonates. Whatever, whichever way it may be, you're not in connections. You're not in talks with this person. Okay? Let's see what else. Yeah, it's like a situation. Whether the masculine and feminine energy take it, flip it, and reverse it, whatever. Um, they're not seeing eye to eye. These people have their backs against the wall. They're not seeing eye to eye. It's some very light and dark energy here. And it, and it was like somebody was feeling like they needed their hand to be held in a, in a situation, but they're a grown-ass motherfucker, right? There was a lot of phobias. Like this person... This this person had a lot of phobias, right? They were they were scared of a lot. Did I say us scared? <laughs> they were scared of a lot. They weren't able to effectively communicate. They weren't able to properly love or show you love. They weren't even able to even, you know, make anything clear with you, right? It was a lot of beating around a bush. It was not a lot of clarity in this situation. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and use my, okay, what am I going to use, Spirit? I'm going to go ahead and use tarot. Let's put some tarot on it. But then Wisdom of Oracle, okay, I'll, I'll, that's standing up. My, standing up my okay, tower deck, tower deck, huh. tower on the bottom of the deck, as well as Ten of Cups and Chariot. And ten of swords. So it was definitely with this untrustworthy situation, right? With this untrustworthy situation, um, there was something that they were planning that got ruined. It was a lot of chaos in this situation. It was a lot of delusions, like some shit that wasn't being seen clearly. But now, like, it's bright and clear. It's bright and clear, right? And then we have the chariot. So it's like there's some... There's some um, um, emotional balance to be had here, Right? 
There's some emotional balance to be had. This person is trying to gain um, some stability. And with this male, female, masculine, feminine energy, take it however resonate, flip it, reverse it. Um, it was some misfortune here. It was some misfortune here. It was some backstabbing here. It was some lies here. It was some deceit. Deceit. <laughs> Can I talk today, y'all? I cannot talk today. It was some, def like, just feeling defeated. It was some lower vibrational energy going on here. Yeah, and, and, and I have two of swords again. Okay, I'm going to pull that out because I kept on seeing that when I was shuffling. Um, so there definitely was some difficult choices. To get to this Ten of Cups situation, there were definitely some difficult choices, but now emotions are running high. It's like they feel like they missed out on an uh, opportunity and they truly regret that. This person is in deep regret for fucking up a situation, like a otherworldly type situation, counterpart type situation, like cannot replace this energy type situation, can't compete where you can't compare type situation, right? This person is fucking, <laughs> I'm about to say they're killing themselves instead of they're feeling themselves. They're feeling themselves. It's like they're killing themselves. They're killing themselves. Okay, that's the message I just got. This person is like replaying over and over and over how they fucked up. Like, damn, I missed this opportunity. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I used to be feeling myself. Now I'm just over here uh, in this lower vibrational energy. Can't get my shit together. Done fucked over a good person. Like, damn. Why, like, why the fuck I keep on doing that? I need to work on myself with this bullshit. Because I'm disappointed in myself for fucking up this Look at all these cards. For fucking up this opportunity. Yeah. Because you're definitely looking the devil. So we have the six of wands. Because they knew all along that you were fucking deserve. De I'm, you know how I'm making my words. Deservable. <laughs> Deservant. You, they know that you deserved that equal give and take. You were a gift all along. They knew that shit. But they had the devil on their motherfucking back. They had a lot of unpleasant people whispering in their ear. They had a lot of, whether it be uh, addiction, a lot of obsessive behaviors. Whether that be... Um, you know, sex addiction, whether that be drug addiction, whether that be internet gambling addiction, whatever it may be. Anything that they was putting before you, any type of stagnant bond, anything that they felt like they were stuck to, that they couldn't get rid of, that they couldn't, they had to pay more attention on this situation than paying attention to you whenever they knew that you were genuine and honest and you're showing them this unconditional love, right? But they see you living good now. They see you living good. They see that you want movement. They see that you want movement, and, and this person, you know, has had some karmic cycles. They had karma coming back on their ass. Deservably so. Deservably so. But you know that you want progress, so you don't want to be stuck. You don't have any time to be stuck in the situation. Motherfucking empress. Yeah, because with you is abundance. You're very productive. You're very stable. You're very down to grow. Da down, to, um, down to grow, okay? You're very down to earth, and you want to grow. Like, you want to grow. And, and if this person saw that you wanted to grow, but it was something with their lack mentality, with this lower vibrational energy, with this is whole behavior, feeling like they had to fuck everybody, feeling like they, you know, was missing out on something that they couldn't do the fuck right, right? Then we have the Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So it's like, it's time for you to expand. It's, you're realizing that a bit, you have to show me, period, or nothing. Show me, period, or nothing. And then... You see that you're getting a lot of mental clarity and the truth on a lot. So you're like, whenever you're working on yourself, whenever you were in this situation, this person that's regretting all of this that they did to you, all of this, you know, hurt, all of this dishonesty, all of these, um, you know, people that they may have put before you, not people that they may have, people that they put before you, because this person definitely put you, some people before you, situations before you. If this person didn't do that, if this person didn't lie, if this person didn't do false, have false promises, then this is not your reading, okay? So definitely, um, I do see some goodness coming back. I do see this person working on themselves. And I do see that you're, regardless if this person is working on themselves, you're working on yourself and you're realizing that it's time for you to expand and do, you know, continue to work on yourself and continue to grow with or without this person. You're realizing that you have to show yourself that love and don't doubt anything and don't be in that lower vibrational because you are not the one that lacks the trust and the faith. This other person is, and if they can't get it together, right? If they can't get it together, if they can't see the bigger picture, if, if they can't understand that it's about um, growing and learning constantly, if they want to constantly betrayal, be in a betrayal type of energy um, and not do the groundwork as you have learned to do the groundwork to access that. I don't know why I just got a caution records, but to, ac to access that um, 
higher vibrational being and to speak with your ancestors and to grow and learn and always constant be in a, a, a state of knowing. You know, a state of knowing that it's, you're, never, you're never finished growing, right? And you know that you are the person that can manifest anything. You've been very strong in this. But this person, Knight of Wands, this person does see that you're very goal-oriented. They see that you're very driven. And they're very passionate about you. They're very passionate about you. They could definitely see a future with you. Um, but you definitely, Seven of Swords, continue to use your discernment. And right after that, right, somebody, the emperor came out. So it's like definitely be beware of... Any type of person that's just trying to invade your space to leave you stuck and stagnant, to invade your space to, you know, um, stop you from what you're fucking doing and, and, and make you focus on them when they never were focused on you, you know, from the damn beginning. Whenever, um, you know, whenever you were wanting to put that energy in, but now that you've learned some, that you're not going to just put that out there without getting that reciprocated, then, you know, it's, it's, it's all up to you. It's all up to you to get to this happiness, this success, this prosperity, and you know that. So you're receiving good news. You're you're getting a lot of um, clarity. You're very vivacious, and um, a lot of fulfillment of what you wanted, what you need, what you desire is coming to you because you're learning very importantly to work on yourself. And you know, if it's meant to be, it'll be, and everything will be in alignment. You know when it's divine timing, but you don't have any time to be waiting in vain. You just have to constantly work on yourself and you have to constantly grow, right? And then for certain situations, they will come to pass and certain situations won't. But we all have to understand that if it wasn't meant to be, it's not going to be, right? If it's meant to be, it would be. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in. So it is like um, the energy of this reading is like a person from the past that shitted on you, that did you wrong, that was not very trustworthy, definitely is in regret for how they did you. They're definitely regretting that they took this opportunity of greatness for granted. So they're in that energy. Use your discernment in whatever you do. Like I always say, discernment, intuition is never going to lead you wrong. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of y'all. As always, peace, love, and namaste.